Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. I hope you all are having a fantastic Monday. Listen, I am so glad that you all decided to, to tune in, to tap in, and turn on to this channel today. And for those of you that are faithful followers, you know that I love you. Thank you so much. And for those of you who are new to the channel, I encourage you to subscribe to the channel. And also hit that bell so that you'll always get alerts whenever I have uploaded new material. I most definitely don't want you to miss out on the thing. And of course, I wanted to go ahead and address this channel. Of course, you see that it means uh, the acronym for this channel is Shonda Inspires Nations to Grow or Sing. And so if you are a follower of this channel, or even if you tap in and tune in occasionally, I will refer refer to you as my singer so it doesn't matter if you can carry uh if your pitch is off as long as you have the right tone linked in with the right vibration we can make some magic happen in your life so i want to refer to you all as my my vsps my vibrational singing people so welcome to motivation mondays today and of course today we're going to go ahead and jump right in uh, wait a minute <laughs> before I do. How did the exercise work out for you guys last week? The gratitude affirmations, three things for seven days that you're grateful for. I know it had me buzzing. I was very happy. I was in an excellent mood. I wasn't negative and I always woke uh, awaken to just be grateful for something. So it most definitely helped me. I would love to hear what it did for you in the comment section below. So I want to go ahead and proceed with today's message. Today, uh, we're going to talk about emotions. We're going to talk about how emotions uh, are indicators for manifesting your destiny, for manifesting your desires, for manifesting some of your dreams. It's very possible and you can make that happen. So the first thing I want to talk about is what emotions are, what manifesting is, what does it mean? And then I want to cover the scientific part of emotions. And then, of course, I want to give you some things to think about and end with affirmation. So the first thing is we'll go ahead and jump into the meaning of emotions. And as you know, the meaning of emotions is just a natural instinctive state of mind uh, deriving from one's circumstances, mood, and relationship with other people. Okay, so it's a feeling, it's a reaction to something, it's a response, it's a sentiment. And then we talk about manifesting. It comes from the root word manifest. So that's a display or to show uh, quality of feelings uh, by one's act of appearances or to demonstrate, to put on display, to exhibit, to present, to reveal. I will be the first to admit up until this very last trial that I had right before the end of the year, I didn't really realize how out of sync I was with God, how out of sync I was with uh, the source and my emotions pretty much controlled me. And so what I've learned to do just through research, through prayer, and of course, through coaching, I've learned to gauge my emotions and to allow my emotions to work for me. Am I flawless every day? No, absolutely not. But I know that my emotions are indicators for me to stay in alignment, to manifest the things in my life that I want to have. So at least we know what emotions are. We know that uh, emotion, emotional manifesting is the feeling that displays themselves in your life through circumstances or relationships with others. So whatever you focus on, it most definitely will expand in your life. So I want to go ahead and talk about the science behind emotions. I did go ahead and research that. Now, I want to talk about neurotransmitters such as serotonin or dopamine. Uh, they're, used as chemical, uh, they're used as chemical messengers to send signals across the brain network. Brain regions receive the signals, which results in us recognizing objects and situations, assigning them an emotional value, and to guide behavior and making split second risk reward assessments. So that's what they do, okay? So the neurotransmitters begin uh, connecting in our bodies in our early childhood development phase. So it just depends on your experience what neurotransmitters uh, are stronger than others, just depending on that. Uh, it's certain parts of our brain um, that may be damaged from different things that may have happened in our life. For example, the hippocampus of the brain reminds us which actions are congruent with our mood. Uh, it, it's also uh, shown that the hippocampus 
can shrink uh, in people with chronic depression. So just depending on what you've been through, that most definitely can affect your neurotransmitters, which would affect your emotions, which would affect your brain, and so on and so forth. So it's important to uh, pray, of course, and it's also important to do energy sessions, meditation, and positive affirmations to strengthen the positive neurotransmitters, the neurotransmitters that, you know, that, help with positive thinking so that's really important okay um, I also wanted to talk a little bit about vibrations with the brain it's it's very consistent with colors that we talked about last week so with your emotions uh, you have a unique vibration with them also uh, it will it like objects do they have vibrations colors have vibrations so so does emotions they have vibrations that go high faster or low and slower so if you're happy if you're you know in alignment with source and you're optimistic of course your vibration is going to be higher and faster but if you're sad if you're angry if you're frustrated if you're depressed then of course your vibration is going to be lower and slower so it kind of talks about it it talks about scientifically how when you're in love and you have that whole euphoric feeling you know you feel like you're walking on sunshine pretty much you know and that is because not only are you um, vibrating higher okay and with more power but you have voltage so that makes your vibration that much that much faster okay that much faster so it's pulling in your manifestations faster and of course in contrast or by contrast when you have the opposite going on when you're really sad when you're really depressed when you're really angry when you're really worried it slows everything down and it creates resistance to your manifestation so if you're connected to something or you're connected to someone that's causing you to be down it's causing you to be sad and you just can't understand why this or that is happening the best thing for you to do is to save yourself and disconnect for a while to allow yourself to get back into alignment so that you can manifest greatness in your life you deserve that you deserve that now of course all of this information that I'm talking about is not uh, something that's just uh, metaphorically speaking. This is actually backed by science. So I am uh, scientifically uh, measuring measurable information here. And the source for this was Molecules of Emotion by Candace Pess and HMI. But you know, at the conclusion of their study, they proved that human beings are electromagnetic energy. And basically what that means is that we are constantly broadcasting our own energy and attracting like energy. So, you know, now you can understand why, you know, in the spiritual realm, we always talk about generational curses. We're always talking about things that's constantly looping in our lives, constantly showing up. Yes, you know, because we are spirit. So we tap into that spirit and we bring that likeness to us. So we most definitely want to be careful being that we know who we are, being that we know that we are a spirit or scientific term for that would be electromagnetic energy. So we want to make sure that we're doing that. So I want to give you something to think about just really briefly here. Now, whatever we feel, whether it's good or bad with our emotions, it will manifest in our life. So if we never think we'll get ahead that will always show up if we always feel that we have to rob peter to pay paul you know that's going to always show up right uh if we feel that we will never be you know healthy then that'll always show up if we feel that way then disease will show up do you understand what i'm saying if you feel that you'll never have a significant other that will show up if you feel that men are dogs and they're not faithful and they're none good out there, then that's what manifests in your life. If you feel that women are drama and needy and just, you know, just as bad as they say men are, that's what you will manifest in your life. But by contrast, if you feel that abundance is there, then the abundance will show up in your life. If you feel vibrant, then that's what will show up. If you feel love, that's what will show up. If you feel that you will be in connection with great people, that's where to show up. If you feel that men are good and that they're loyal and that they're good men out there to have time for you, that will show up. And if you feel that there's some good women out there that are smart, that are intelligent, not needy, they have a full life, that will show up. Whatever you feel is what will show up in your life. So if you feel that you're consistently in alignment with source, with God, then that is what you will consistently have to show up. Because the subconscious mind doesn't know the difference. It just stores the information. 
it stores the thoughts okay so whatever your emotion feels it's filtered this way through the subconscious mind through the conscious mind through the spiritual energetic realm and then through the physical realm of your life that is how energy is that's how your emotions are they are indicators of alignment whether you're out or whether you're in you have the ability to connect to the outside realm of this physical which is spiritual which is energy because after all what did i say that you are electromagnetic energy so whatever you feel is what you attract it's exactly what you will attract and what will show up in your life so that is so awesome to know that you have that much control, that much control of your life. So my question for you today is very simple. Are you going to allow your emotions to be indicators to keep you in alignment with source so that you can create and manifest your desires, your destiny, your dreams, whatever it is that you're wanting? Are you going to continue to allow your emotions to run rampant so that it shows up in your mind, it shows up in your body, it shows up in your spirit, it shows up in your physical world in various forms, and you just keep looping the same lifestyle over and over and over again because you are electric magnetic energy and you keep pulling in the same experiences. Are you going to continue to do that? Or are you going to pay attention to those emotional indicators? Get yourself back into alignment. Think happy thoughts in the midst of a storm. Be optimistic to continue to create what you deserve. My suggestion would be to tie that down. Make that happen. <laughs> so, of course, I want to end with some positive affirmations for y'all. I want to end with some affirmations that's going to um, generate some emotion. The first 10 affirmations I'm going to do are going to be the affirmations that my coach give me. And I say these probably hundreds of times during the daytime. <laughs> so I will share that with you because you are my family. So I want to share that with you. And then, of course, I added more onto it. Okay. So affirmations. I accept myself as I am. I accept myself as I am. I am loved. I matter. I am wanted. I am desired. I am a priority. I love and approve of myself. I love and approve of myself. I am secure. I love my character. I love my body. I love my skills. I love my talents and may divine love be made alive in me now. I am a child of God. I am in love with God's spirit. I am in a receptive mode. I tune in, tap in, turn on to me. I am in sync with the vibration of life. I am a creator. I am the love that I desire in the world. It clings to me. I am the lover of the lover of my soul, of my spirit, my twin flame, my soulmate. I love him and he loves me. We're connected. I love my life. I am an innovator. I am an educator. I am a motivator. I am a teacher. I vibrate at higher frequencies, higher voltages to bring about things that I desire into this physical realm of life. I have that power. I am powerful. I am the highest part of an intelligence that God created to be like a God in that he is my father. I am his reflection. I have the ability to touch dead things and bring them over here into my life. I am that. I reside in, I bask in, I lie in the vertex. I'm forever connected with source, connected with alignment. I love the things that I care about. I'm grateful. I am a creator. I am in life and I am in sync with the creator. And yes, oh yes, I am the future.
I am. So my question for you, final question today, is will you continue to live in the, ver in the, in the matrix? Will you continue to live in the matrix and allow life to happen to you? Or are you going to wake up and get control of your emotions so that you can manifest the life that you desire, the life that you deserve? Think about that. I love you, singers. Mwah. I love you. And have a great day. Bye now.